Email 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.8, number 53, and here we were asked to graph the logistic equation on this scatter plot. So let me go ahead and I put all of this data into my lists, and let me clear out, I have probably some, I, I didn't clear out my previous work. Let me clear that out. So I cleared out the work from the, the, just the previous screencast I did. You see I've got my scatter plot on. Let me hit zoom nine. And it does look a little logistic. It, it almost kind of looks a little logarithmic too, but it, it says go ahead and do a logistic expression. So we're growing and then we kind of cap off here. Actually, because it's capping off, it does actually look more logistic than logarithmic. So let's go ahead and make a logistic model. So I'm gonna hit stat calc and the logistic model is so far down at the bottom. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, it's option B. It's actually easier just to scroll up. Right. And then we feed it L1, L2, and Y1. And it actually, logistic modeling is intense. You can see even for the TI-8384, it takes a little while, but it'll pump back out my equation. And I can see, okay, my carrying capacity is about 136. That A value is about 10.3, and my B value up here is about negative Point, or not negative, excuse me, 0.48. The negative BX was what would make it negative. But ultimately, let me just hit zoom nine, and, and there we go, right? So I've graphed that logistic model on my scatter plot, and that's what we would do for number 53, all right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.